What's happening everyone? My name is Adrian and welcome back to another episode of What The Pun. <laughs> Hope you're all doing good, doing well, doing great. And uh, today, 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 a bit of a unscheduled video. Not that my recent run on YouTube has been very much in an, in, in on a schedule. But uh, today, uh, I had to do a video because of some... For me, exciting news. Uh, Porsche has announced a new 911. And why is that um, big news to me? Because I am, I am, for those of you that didn't know, I am a bit of a Porsche fan. In my time with a driver's license, I've been quite lucky to have driven different Porsches, Cayennes, 911 Turbos. Uh, and at some point in my life, I've also owned a Porsche Cayman 981, which I love so much. I'm not driven, like, it's not a super, super quick car, but it just drives so well. So, which is why today, with the announcement of the new 911, I thought I just had to do a video about it because it's, for me, it's exciting news. It's very exciting news. So, before I get into it, before I get into it, um, you may notice, like, the current setup is a little bit different uh, where I'm, this is actually, for those of you that don't know, this is my setup for Whatnot. This is where I host my weekly live streams on Whatnot. And if you don't know what Whatnot is, it is a platform that allows people to sell collectibles, uh, not just cards, basically, and uh, loads of other things. And uh, yeah, it's a fun platform. I mean, lots of like-minded people. So if, if you're into like trading card collectibles, like myself as well, you can catch me on Whatnot on a weekly basis as well so I'll have a link uh, on the screen where you can sign up if you're not already on the platform and you get some credits uh, free credits that you can use on whatnot as well so let's get down to business so the whole point of today's video I don't want to like bore you with what happened in the whole live stream announcements I will basically just highlight uh, very briefly what I think is the best bits about uh, today's announcement. Cool, let's go. To start off with, okay, so it's the new 911 announcement. So just to make it clear, it's not a completely new redesign, new shape, new, new everything 911. We are still currently on the 992 generation, but this is like a updated version of the 992 generation. So this is like a 992.2. So at the start of the live stream, they've announced that uh, the base models, which is the coupe and the cabriolet, they've had a slight update. So the three liters of flat six twin charged uh, in this new generation has been slightly tweaked and it's producing a bit more horsepower. So now it's about 394 horsepower. Exterior wise, it's had a bit of an update, a few cosmetic changes, and there is the option of HD matrix headlights on this model uh, interior wise a few updates as well uh, you, as standard you get digital cockpit as well now so we've I think it's like up to seven different modes you can switch to and start stop button as standard and the mode switch on the steering wheel as standard as well oh another thing because they bumped the horsepower up uh, you now get bigger brakes as well but as far as the base cab and coupe model, that to me is the highlight because the, the creme de la creme of this live stream comes at the later part of the video, which we'll be going into right now. Okay, so with the base 911 coupe and cab out of the way, because to me now that, that was like a side quest in terms of this live stream, that the main creme de la creme of this uh, live stream was the announcement of their new 911 GTS. And why is it such a big deal in this uh, live stream? Because for the first time in their street going road car, they're implementing what they call the T-hybrid technology. What is that? So basically it's a, it, how do I explain it? I'm not mean that technical with all this stuff. <laughs> Basically, how they describe it is like an electric motor between the engine and the PDK, I think. 
and then there's the, the turbocharger is has an electric motor in there and there's somewhere there's a battery but I'm probably describing it in a very bad way and you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but I'll have like a probably a picture of what they use to describe it and yeah but it's a in terms of like the engine in this it's a 3.6 litre flat six so still sticking with the flat six and it's a single charged but with this, the turbo charge in this has an electric motor and um, numbers wise they say it's at 541 horsepower producing at about 610 newton meters of torque zero to I think 60 is like about three seconds but you might think surely this car can't be reliable because if they're putting the hybrid technology into a 911 for the first time surely it's going to be rubbish and it's going to be breaking down all the time but funny you might be saying that because things like this just don't happen that you know from thin air because with companies like Porsche, other companies that have a racing background, they would have been testing they, for years, for years, this kind of technology on their motorsport and racing car platform for years before they put it into their production car. So trust me, this is going to be reliable and they'll be able to produce numbers day in, day out on, on, on the road on a production car. Trust me. But uh, where did I get up to? Where are we? Yes, but also... Yes, you might also be thinking, wait, wait, how much is this going to weigh? Because surely you're putting like a battery, electric motors and everything. Surely this is going to be very heavy. No, no, it's not. Because from what they said, it's only about 50 kilograms heavier than the previous model. 50 kilograms and it's faster as well. So yeah, mad, mad. How they've kept this the te with the technology and the extra horsepower, like they've kept it so light. So I think the the total weight of the car is like about just shy of one thousand six hundred kilograms. And have we gone into numbers? Do we go into numbers? Yes, we did go into numbers. But yes, um, they demonstrated like they did a a track test. Obviously on the Nürburgring, it was about 8.7 seconds faster than the previous generation of their GTS. And they had a little special bit with uh, Matt Watson uh, doing a drag race between the, the new generation 992.2 GTS and the previous uh, 992 uh, drag racing. And yeah, obviously the new one won. But yeah, to me, this is a big deal. Very big deal because very first... 911 with hybrid technology that's just giving it insane numbers. So why is it such a big deal? It's because like if it's the first car they have implemented this hybrid technology in, what's gonna come next? Because they haven't announced a new turbo yet or uh, an updated turbo or an updated GT3. So are they gonna? Are, do they have big plans with hybrid technology with the 911 turbo? Oh, <laughs> think about that. And surely this can also be applied to other models like your 718. So your, your, uh, seven, is it, yeah, no, I think I got the numbers wrong, but you know, no, yeah, 718. Uh, so like your Boxster, your Caymans. So yeah, the future is looking bright. <laughs> the future is looking bright. So I, I'm looking forward to what they'll be announcing in the future because this is just the start, I believe. Just the start. So, moving on. Next. When? When can you order these? Now, apparently. Apparently now, like right now. So if you go onto like Porsche.com, they are available for you to customise and build and place your orders now. Price-wise for these GTS, the flavours they come in is standard load. Coupe, your cab, your Targa. Uh, so you can get them in, yeah, coupe, cab, or Targa form. Prices start from 132000 Obviously, if you start like playing about adding this and that, it's going to come up at a much bigger price. I did a bit of a cust uh, customize on their website and my one came up to just shy of 160000 Oh, one key thing I didn't uh, mention. Uh, aero. Aero. They've uh, updated Aero in the front of the car. 
uh, bigger wheels because obviously this is faster so there's bigger wheels and there's another thing that's quite important oh if you're gonna customize it aero kit there's aero kit and come on there was one more thing there's one more thing <laughs> Yes, rear wheel steering comes as standard on this as well. I knew there's something important. Rear wheel, rear wheel steering comes as standard. But yeah, price wise, GTS, new GTS starts about 130,000. $130, Obviously, if you can customize it, price is going to change up and down. Depending on, well, not, not really down, but obviously goes up to base depending on what flavor you like your car in and what lever. Um, all sorts of it, especially like if you want to add aero kit onto it as well. So yeah, my the one I did came up to about one hundred and sixty thousand. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day. But yeah, like I said, this is, this is like really exciting news to me. First nine eleven with hybrid technology in it, uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to later models, which may or may not have this. Well, hopefully will have uh, this technology on it and let's see what's what they come up with boom but yeah that's it for me today i just wanted to keep it short and really just highlight what i thought was cool and exciting about today's live announcement uh but anyways yeah like i said that's it uh if you're enjoying the content or if you haven't seen any of my, my other like videos be sure to check it out uh subscribe like and for those of you that have been coming back and you're not a subscriber yet, I know who you are. I can I can see the stats. I can see the stats. YouTube gives me all the information. A lot of you are coming back, but you're, but you're not subscribed yet. So be sure to subscribe because I know you, if you're coming back, surely you're enjoying the video. But be sure, please, support. Support the channel. We're very close to 1,000 now. Very close to 1,000. And every little you know, click of the subscribe button really helps me. Um, get the channel bigger so I can make better content for you all. But yeah, <coughs> seriously, I can't get rid of this cough. But anyways, that's it from me this week. Love you all. Take care. Keep safe. I'll see you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.